Hi everybody, Matt Bernier here for Weekend Wrap, taking a look back at this past Saturday's Sands Point for three-year-old fillies at Belmont Park on the turf. As they break from the gate, you're going to notice there is a complete lack of any intention from anyone to go to the lead, maybe with the exception of La Coronel. Jose Lescano recognizes there isn't much speed signed on on paper. Norm Cassie, the assistant trainer of La Coronel, had even made mention of that afterward. They weren't too disappointed that they wound up on the front end. As you can see, she can be a little bit keen early on, La Coronel, but considering she had come off of a couple of duds, it was nice to see her get back to some good form anyway. She's out there and she's gonna set the fractions. The opening quarter, which is not unexpected here in New York with the way things go on the turf, 25 and three, they're gonna get a half mile. Then 49 and four, drawn just to her outside is the number four fault who has taken up a beautiful position. Empress of the Nile expected to show a little bit more speed, but they seem content sitting just behind her. And the horse that you're going to have to keep an eye on is in those teal silks mid-pack, about three lengths off the lead right now. That's the number six, Uni. She went off as the favorite come post time at six to five, and she was one that really had all of the upside and all the potential in this spot. We didn't really know what she could be, and we still don't know what she necessarily can turn into. But at this point, anyone coming from off the pace has to be a little bit concerned that the old La Coronel would show up because... When you have an easy lead like this, it's going to play right into her hooves. And again, unfortunately, it seemed like her recent form hadn't been spectacular, but you know that if you give her an inch, she's going to take a mile, and her best race was certainly capable of winning in a spot like this. You're going to see a couple horses try to make some big moves from the back of the pack, including inflexibility. You see her in the Clarevich sable colors. But meanwhile, here comes Uni. She's going to get into full flight right now. La Coronel for a moment looks like she's home because she's put the slip on the rest of this field. But now here comes Uni in full flight along with inflexibility. She's going to come on just a little bit too late. 55 as well on the far outside. Uni is going to be the one that runs down La Coronel. It was a nice effort from La Coronel on the front end, but Uni overcomes the slow pace, gets the job done for trainer Chad Brown. She wins the Sands Point going a mile and an eighth on the turf course. They stop the clock in 148 and four. She pays $4.70 on the win end. La Coronel, $4.92 place. Fault, $5.40 to show. If you played the exacta for a dollar, it comes back $10.80. If you played the trifecta for a half, it comes back $43.75. Uni is a three year old filly, and she earned a 90 buyer speed figure here in this spot. For Chad Brown, Irad Ortiz Jr. with the ride. She really hasn't done a heck of a lot wrong ever since she's been brought over here. She's run three times. She has a victory. She almost won two starts back up at Saratoga. And then her run in the Belmont Oaks really wasn't bad at all either, especially if you consider maybe the distance was a little bit far for her. As you can see, her lifetime record, three wins from nine lifetime starts, a 90 buyer speed figure, a 120 time form U.S. rating. And Chad Brown has said if she comes back out of this race in fine fettles, they will consider a race like the QE2 down at Keeneland on October the 14th. As far as La Coronel is concerned, she actually earned the fastest time form U.S. rating in this field with a 122. She also earned a 90 buyer speed figure. Again, nice to see her get back to the sort of positive ways that we know that she's capable of running. And this seems like it could be a nice stepping stone to get back to something else, whether it's at a distance like a mile and an eighth or maybe something even a little bit shorter. And you always want to just kind of factor into, maybe not necessarily for a horse like Fault, but the horses that had to come from off the pace in a race where there was no pace whatsoever, most notably in flexibility as well as 55, uh, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt in this spot. The fact that Uni was able to overcome that just goes to show the kind of class and the kind of ability that she has. She has a very, very potent late kick. She got her final eighth of a mile in 11 and 3. So it sounds like it could be on to bigger and better things for Uni. Good to see La Coronel, even with an easy lead, get back to a good effort. Nothing wrong with the way that Fault run ran. I thought she took up a beautiful position throughout beneath Flavian Pratt, and she tried probably just not quite as good as the big girls in this spot. And inflexibility in 55 again, you're going to want to give them the benefit of the doubt simply because they were up against it from a pace standpoint. Uni was up against it from a pace standpoint as well, but boy, it just shows that late kick that she's got. That's something else. She earns a 90 buyer speed figure winning the Sands Point.